I'm Rachel Ballinger and welcome to my channel. I'm a 90s baby. I was born in 91. My childhood was the 90s. If you don't want to do the math, I'm 31 years old. I am old. I also just finished filming my pride video, so I'm wearing pride clothes. <laughs> anyway, cute. I want to test 90s toys. I believe I've done this in the past. I know my sister has done it. I don't think I've played with these. I mean, I've definitely played with a skip it in my life. I don't remember if I've played with them recently. The memory escapes me. But I have four toys that were like top toys in the 90s that we are gonna play with today and see if they still are as cool as I remember them being. They are a little upgraded. I have an easy bake oven. It is not how it was back in the day. You can't burn yourself on it this time. Rude, that's part of the nostalgia for me is burning myself on inedible food. So, let's play with some 90s toys, y'all. Okay, here's one I didn't have, and I don't really remember it being that big of a thing, but apparently it was. It is my password journal, a safe place to express your thoughts. Uh, we were not allowed to have locks on our journals. That was the rule, I think. Am I remembering that rule correctly? We had journals and we were encouraged to write in them, but I think my mom needed to be able to break into them. I had a diary with a lock. I think it was pickable though. Anyway. Gotta get batteries! Freaking 90s toys! <laughs> what is this? Why is this clear? I don't know how to do this. This is an invisible ink pen. There were no instructions. <gasps> blah, blah, blah. I did that. I want a normal pen. Turn switch. Anyway, press either button to open journal. There's a light. ideas. There's a glow light so you can write in the dark. How do you do this? Then how do you? There's like a secret safe in here. Record button. What in the world? How do you set a password? Record your password. I couldn't hear you. Start over. Abby is hot. Abby is hot. Repeat your password. Abby is hot. Password saved. Intruder alert. Record your alert. Get your hands off of my book! This is mine! Get your hands off of my book! This is mine! Alert safe. Okay, it's locked. What's the password? Abby is hot. <laughs> What's the password? Poop on a stick. <laughs> That's not the password. Try again. Bananas are rot. Get your hands off of my book! This is mine! <laughs> this is so fun! Except for the fact, I've realized this, if you share a room with someone, like my sister and I shared a room growing up, we could have never used this because the other person would know the other person's password. What's the password? Abby is hot. <laughs> That's not the password. Try again. Abby is hot. Oh, I can't get into my own book now! This is mine! Abby is hot. Why won't it let me into my own freaking journal? I can't get into my thing. I don't want to get screamed out again. Okay, so apparently there's a reset button that you can press that just opens the journal and like this is a flaw. Okay, so apparently if you just press this. Abby is hot. It won't let me in! What's the reset button? Get your hands off of my book! Okay, well that is a flaw. You can break into these just using the reset button. <laughs> All right, how do you use the glow in the, the, the invisible ink? Let me see here. Okay, so we have a flaw. You can just break it, whatever. This doesn't work. How are you supposed to read the invisible ink? I'm very confused. Glow and show, how do you glow and show? This is stupid and I'm upset with it and it doesn't even keep your thing safe and it won't listen to you when you talk about how hot Abby is as a password. <coughs> I have a cough. So, so far 90s toys suck. On to the next one. Let's break some ankles, everybody. Let's play skip it. I need a knife. Dang it. I don't think you guys are ready for my skill with this skip it. Oh God, I forgot how, to, how do you play skip it? How do you do this? Skip it, action. Oh, I'm so freaking good at this. What? 
You just jump. It's like jump rope. I remember being very painful as a kid, but they've added just a little cushion. <sighs> cushion for the pushing. Love it. Next toy. I'm bad breath. Next up, the Easy Bake Oven. This is not how I remember Easy Bake Ovens. This is how I remember Easy Bake Ovens. I didn't have one, my sister did. I never really used it. But I'm gonna set this puppy up and we are gonna cook party pretzel dipper refill mix. Wait, I don't have, do I have to have the actual thing? I don't, I might not even have the thing for, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, the Easy Bake Oven is preheating. And while we're gonna make pretzels, so we're gonna make some pretzel dough while that is preheating. Let me go get the things I need. So the Easy Bake Oven is preheating and it smells like chemicals, so cancer. Um, here we are, dang it, I forgot something. Okay, here we are. I have to make a glaze. So I put the egg wash, disgusting, where is it? The egg wash mix into a bowl and then add two tablespoons of water into that bowl. Here we go. It just looks, it's just a, a, a there it's everywhere. It literally went everywhere. It's just a powder, done. Great, what am I supposed to do? I already forgot. Two tablespoons of water. Here we go, one, two. Fabulous, I'm gonna mix that up. I was supposed to spur it with a spoon. I got a fork. Well, things happen. We can't always be perfect. Oh God, this smells disgusting. Why do I keep smelling it? It smells old and moldy and gross. I don't want to eat this, but I will. Next, pour one pretzel mix and press the mixture together until you form the dough. I should probably wash my hands. Meh. No, I will. I will. Stop yelling at me. Mixing, 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 mixing with a different fork. I don't know why I didn't get a spoon. Okay, I gotta go wash my hands so I can form this with my hands. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. It, oh, it is gross. I don't like it. It's, mm, it's not very good. <sighs> okay, this is really sticky. <laughs> it also smells terrible. I'm gonna die today ingesting any of this. I need flour. This is so sticky. Okay, sprinkle flour on your hands if the dough is too sticky. Yeah, I'm, I literally, I think the dough is too sticky. Can you just sprinkle a little flour on me? Uh, so I made an actual dough thing. Okay, so you're supposed to use your hands to shape the dough into a ball. Choose what kind of pretzels you wanna make. A twist, a nugget, a stick. I wanna make the, a, a natural, a normal pretzel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do this. Oh God, I broke. Okay. I should be using like a baking sheet or a cutting board or something, but no, this is what we're doing. Here we go. All right. I made a pretzel. Boom. <gasps> Look how good my pretzel looks. Get out. I'm amazing. There. Boom. Pretzel is on it. I'm supposed to put my glaze. Use your pastry brush. I don't have a pastry brush. No one supplied me with a pastry brush. Just spread the glaze on. This is an egg wash, disgusting, gonna die. Okay, now I'm gonna go get some coarse salt and sprinkle this upon it, and then we should be good to bake. I'm so excited. Welcome to the floor, because this is where the easy bake stuff happens, is the bedroom floor of a child's room. Okay, so here's my pretzel. Jill says it looks like poop. <laughs> She's just apologized. Don't apologize for how you perceive art. Okay, so. Okay, preheat it for 20 minutes. Timer just went off, it has been 20 minutes. Use the pan pusher to push the pan into the baking chamber. Stop with the baking lines on the handle. Lines show up at the bottom. What? Yeah, what are these words that they're speaking to me? What? I love you to pieces. You're taking up the entire shot. Do not use your hands to push in the pan. Okay. So we do, we do this, okay. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't, my pretzel's too thick. <laughs> oh, I, I pushed my pretzel down a little bit. We pushed it, it wasn't, it wasn't going. Here we go. Okay, here's the thing, it didn't go, it didn't go in. Is it in? I have no idea if this is in or not. Okay, well, sure. How long does it supposed to go for? I'm gonna put a timer on for like, this is three minutes and 30 seconds. It says once it, Snoop, ow. When 
Baking time is done. Use pan pusher to move the pan all the way through the cooling chamber. It doesn't just go through like a like a conveyor belt? What is, this is stupid. Baking time is 15 minutes? Stop it. I don't have the patience for this. This is like a normal pretzel. All right, I'll go back in 13 minutes when apparently this is supposed to be done and then I will push it all the way through. I think we're closed, I have no idea. <laughs> last toy we are testing out today. Oh God, the hair machine. So I might get my hair chopped and stuck and I don't know, twisted, but apparently this is supposed to put really cool designs in my hair. Lord, help me. I am so scared. Okay, so I have loaded this and I don't quite know how to do it. So I'm making Jill come over and do it to my head because she saw this and said that she has nightmares from when she was a kid. So um, I'm gonna say, do we just grab a piece of hair? I, are there directions? No. No. <laughs> of course not. Why would there be directions? No, there are. Okay. You're supposed to put my hair through that? Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Okay, so I have to. Wait. Practice makes perfect. The best wind patterns will happen if you get a slow, steady pace, pulling the winder through the hair. The angle of the hair also affects the wind holding. Okay, so I think I put it up to your head. Oh my God. Then, Hold on, I wanna get all yeah. my other hair out of this. <laughs> slow and steady, it says. Slow and steady, isn't there only one speed? Yep. Oh. Okay, it doesn't hurt so far. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, are, are we working? <laughs> What's going on? I can't see. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I like it! Wait, I like it! Keep going! <laughs> Bottom of the hair <gasps> go up. Are you jelly? Bottom. Bottom's up. Oh god. Oh Jesus. She's <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> this. My pretzel's done! Okay. Alright, ready? Go. Slow and steady. Because it is windy and not steady. Yeah. I'm seeing it. Yeah. I'm, it's not it's doing it. Okay, now how do we get it off of me? I'm do gonna we... pull, oh, oh, wait, I missed a stuff. Uh... Oh, so you can go back over. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty, but. Shut the front door! <laughs> I have a rat! <laughs> I have a thing! <laughs> that, why did it work? It did work. It it's worked. Perfect. Like right up here is really good. Look at that. <laughs> Braided hair machine DIY fashion. It works. It works. It works. I gotta get this thing out. Hold on. How do you get it out? Okay, it's gonna be hot. There we go. Okay, we did it. Oh my god. I look so good right now. Okay, here it, here it all is. I was supposed to make nacho cheese. Don't want to do that. Okay, it doesn't. Oh my god, that's hot. It is not done. <laughs> it's very doughy. I'm gonna eat it. This, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is foul. This is undercooked but somehow really crunchy. So the bottom is crunchy, the middle is not cooked, and the top is perfect. So easy bake oven. I say let your kids learn how to cook in a real kitchen. This is not good for anybody. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Um, the password journal sucks. The skip it, amazing. Hair twirler, amazing. Easy bake oven, I don't understand. I do understand fashion, and that is why I'm gonna keep this hair braid thing in. I'm beautiful. But that's it for today. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're checking out my vlog channel and my podcast channel. I love you guys a lot. Um, I hope toys have gotten better. I don't know how toys are doing now, but back then, they were dangerous and fun. And that's all. <laughs>